Okay. Um, have you ever had to deal with uh, any uncomfortable fan situations? Uh, what were they, and how did you deal with them? Some kid tried to steal one of our guitars uh, <laughs> like a week or two ago. <laughs> like recently? Yeah, but he got lucky because he got away. So he, he took it? We were, we were fucking beat the shit out of him. Oh, you mean he, he didn't take the guitar, though? He, no, he wasn't able to get it. The whole, he, he tried to get it, but we got it back, but we couldn't, couldn't get to him. Wow. We were going to, because he jumped over a fence. I would have beat him. I would have beat the shit out of him. <laughs> really, I okay. uh, Yeah, I can't say I wouldn't have done anything different. Absolutely, so. <laughs> Stuff like that happens all the time. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Kids um, try to steal stuff, people do weird shit, you know, got to go <laughs> Sometimes, you know, sometimes shit happens. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> um, now, ha have you ever... I have you ever had to deal with any um, angry or disgruntled fans? Oh I was... yeah, the other day I had to tell some girl to stop being our fan and fuck off. Did you really tell her that? <laughs> yeah. So we what? Can, we don't need you. Don't have to be Why was that? She was mad because we didn't play a song. Just um, because you didn't play a song and she was... Yeah. Wow. She's like, I've been a fan. I'm like, so what? Yeah. <laughs> so is everybody. Wow. So has all these other people at the show. What makes you any better than anybody else? Okay. We didn't play the song because we didn't play the song and because... She like snuck backstage to yell at me, and I was like, "Fuck you! Wow. I don't give a shit." Wow. Sorry, you know what? <laughs> I, Sorry, no. I don't care. Okay. <laughs> I'm yeah. not. I'm not gonna let you yell at me because we didn't play a song. Yeah, absolutely. And act, try, and try to and act like a fucking asshole. Like I don't work for you. I don't work for anyone. We play music because we like playing music. Yeah, definitely. You know what definitely. I mean? It's like I don't owe her anything more than anybody else. Yeah, yeah. You know? That's that's really cool, actually. You, you, I don't know, man. We're we're like halfway through the interview. And you see, you see, you already seem like a badass. Yeah, I don't. Know. I don't. I told her to fuck up. I was like, she's well, I'm not gonna be your fan. I'm like, good, good. Yeah, you're you're really cool, buddy. I like. You got you. plenty of others that are normal, and she has. Yeah, she snuck backstage, and wow. Uh, just the show is terrible because all these kids were fighting, and we had to stop. And the show was just a pain in the ass. And, yeah, well, I was just pissed off because the show like kind of just sucked. What just, show? What show was this at? It doesn't matter. Oh, okay. Okay. No problem. <laughs> Yeah, it was just pain in the ass, and then she comes back stage like, "Why didn't you play? You were acting like an asshole on stage." I'm like, "Everybody in the crowd was acting like an asshole." It's like it's not completely my fault. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. The entire crowd was just—it was a mess. It was a mess. Yeah, yeah. It was a mess, and the venue was a mess. And somehow she got backstage to tell me that she really didn't appreciate that we didn't play that song. And the reason why we can't play it is because we have new members who don't know it. Okay. But gotcha. she didn't like that. All right. <laughs> Some people just don't want to hear it. I told know? her to fuck off. <laughs> All right. I told her to return the shirt she had. I said, take that shirt back. <laughs> wow. That's really, yeah. that's, that's really cool. Yeah. I, I, think that, I think that's really Give cool. Give that shirt back. Take it back. <laughs> Alrighty, now um, you you've definitely played shows all over. You were you were mentioning Australia, Japan, everything like that. Um, where is your favorite place to play and why? Australia. Australia, definitely. Yeah. I mean, why is there a reason? Best place on earth. Okay, <laughs> so you really like Australia? Yeah. That's cool. That's cool. Um, I uh, I was wondering myself uh, what what song seems to seems to really get the crowd going for you guys. I mean, what what song? Know, bite to break skin. Bite to break skin. That that that's. Um, Shark Tag. I think Bite to Break Skin is one one that really kind of everybody likes. Okay. Everybody that likes the band that comes to the show, they all know that song. Good, good. That's definitely one. I would, okay. I would say. Okay, good. Um, now, did you did you know at a young age that you wanted to be in a band? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Um, I can you I mean, can you elaborate on that? Did you did you like start writing songs? Yeah, at a young I mean age when or? I was like 14, 15, okay. I wanted to be in a band, but I didn't think I'd be playing. You know, in a band. Yeah, yeah, you know. You know. But but um. I did that. I was a goal to do this. To be to be where you're at yeah. now. Okay, that's good. 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 Um, what are I was wondering. I mean, if you don't feel comfortable talking about this, that's fine. Um, but what are some hardships that the band has had to push through, if any? Uh, members, money, lawsuits, labels. Oh wow. Um, <laughs> I mean, I guess that's kind of just typical for, for, for a band of, of your stature, you know, I guess. I mean, yeah, we've, yeah, we've kind of gone through everything. Everything that you can happen. Everything that can happen, except for somebody dying. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, that, yeah. We've done had to do, deal with everything. Wow, okay. okay. So, you've been, so you've been around the block. Yeah. Times. <laughs> I guess I have. All right, all right. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, so getting, getting to go on tour, uh, you know, all over the place must be really great, but... 
how do you juggle relationships with loved ones at home? Just do it. It's just happening. It's just part of it. I mean, they, they all have to understand. Yeah, exactly. Do. Okay. You just kind of have to know that and just kind of deal with it just, just like you would deal with any other relationship. Okay. Yeah, I gotcha. Okay. Maybe your girlfriend's still, you know, your girlfriend's still going to get mad at you if you work at a job that you have to go on a business trip for if they, if they still or like You know what I mean? It's, yeah, it's yeah. Similar. It's just, I get you. It's, it's just it's just work, you know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I get you. Yeah. I, absolutely, yeah. Okay, we only have a couple more to go. Okay. So, right? <laughs> um, now you've been on uh, Vagrant Records for I believe um, all of your full lengths. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Right. Except for the I mean, with the um, leaving out the Depths of Dreams EP, which was on uh, with Drive Through. Drive Through. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. Um, how do you feel? I was wondering how you felt about the label Vagrant as a whole. Great. I love it. Do you? Yeah. Absolutely. It really seem like they care about. Absolutely. Of course. That's good. It's cool to be on a label that puts out a lot of good, different music. Good, so good. That's I like. To, it's good to be a part of that, and not to be on a label that has a bunch of bands that I don't respect. Okay, good, good. So you pretty much respect every band that's. Oh, on absolutely. Vagrant. I mean, it, it's there's like a you know there's a lot of really cool things that have come out of Vagrant over the years. I mean, everything from Paul Weisberg to just and I mean they put out the last. Rammstein record. Right, right. They okay. did the marketing for the Rammstein record, so that's cool. It's good. Cool. Good. Hold Steady's awesome. Um, Edward Sharp, like Vegas Zero. It's cool. It's com they're completely different. Good, good. Well, it's, it's very nice to know that you do like. Oh yeah, absolutely. Right. Yeah, good. Okay. Um, so you're playing a show tonight here in Pittsburgh. Um, now, what can we expect uh, for the show tonight? I mean, are you excited about the show? Yeah, absolutely. It's gonna be very good. Pittsburgh is one of the better places. Good, good. That's that's really good yeah. to hear. That mm -hmm. no, should be good. It should be a very good show. Good, good. I know I'm excited. Awesome to be there. Um, actually, let me see here. Um, now I was wondering. Now, obviously, you guys just put out the fire just last October, like we had talked about earlier. Um, but what consensus fail for fans uh, expect from you guys in the future? Oh, we're gonna do we're doing bamboozle. We're gonna do some shows in the summer, and we're gonna. Have Try to put out like a seven inch, split seven inch or something with another band in, okay, uh, awesome. in the fall. So that's the plan right now. Okay. Any ideas about the split? I mean, uh, no idea. Yeah, we're still trying to get that together. Okay. Trying to write songs for it and then figure out who we can do it with. That good, cool. good. That definitely gets me excited. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, now here's here's just kind of a fun question. Um, I know you guys are from Jersey. Mm -hmm. uh, so, do you have any any views on like the TV show The Jersey Shore? Okay. I mean, do you, from Jersey. <laughs> There's a lot of people like that in Jersey. Yeah, you know, yeah. I, I, mean, I just didn't know if like if like you thought it gave those people. if you thought it gave like Jersey a bad name or, or if, like. <laughs> yeah, sure, but that's what everybody already thought. It kind of was like that, anyways. So. Okay. Yeah, I got you. I got you. Know, you. It's like, well, I don't care. <laughs> okay. Cool. Um, well, I mean, is there anything else that you'd like to add? Yeah, thanks for you. Thanks for checking out the band. And anybody that likes us, thank you for supporting us. No, yeah, thank you, thank you. Once again, this is Keith Hudak from uh, Chaos Radio at www.streamsfromchaos.com. Uh, in association with The Hidden Agenda at hidagenda.com. Um, thank you once again, Thank buddy, you, man. Thanks so much. For hanging out with us. Absolutely. I appreciate thank it. Thank you very much. Thank you, guys.